Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable 3. All right, and we left off. We had, uh, well, we had just gotten to the village of the dwellers, and uh, now we're trying to dress like one, just so we can blend in a little more and uh, seem like we're more part of the people and show them that we're understanding of their plight. Or at least that's what the hope is, I'm assuming. So, we're going to go get some clothing to then dress up I'm properly. I'm so hungry. Oh, they had to make the kids say it too. You don't look like bright wolf folk. Maybe you're more giving. Well, maybe. Maybe oh, eventually. Interact with. Um, we'll her out there. We can't go out to hunt. Yeesh. Common, straight, and nervous. Well, I mean, I can understand why. If we don't get some food soon, it's all over. Oh, boy. It's all Logan's fault. Um, you can get seals out of interacting with them, but I don't know if this will give it to us or not. Well done, you have altered your relationship with this person. Um, <laughs> sure. Utterly um, despicable. Yeah, well, you're going to find me more despicable in a moment. <laughs> this is so cartoony. Sitting there and burping at him. Jeez. And... Oh, my life gets more wretched by the minute. Oh, you, you don't even know yet. You don't even know yet, buddy. Oh, God. Hey, you. <sighs> Hey, you! Don't you be burping in my face! Well, too bad. We can't go out to hunt if we don't get some food. Apparently, my friend has one villager who loves him, and now I have my first villager who hates me. Yay! Oh boy! All right. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. Hey! Hey! Shut up! Take it and enjoy it. <laughs> You're just trying to make me more miserable, aren't you? A little. Uh. I don't have any food, but plenty of other things. Okay, well, uh, I thought, Hello. like the other so games, that would have altered look the price look just on uh, how much they <sighs> hate or like me. Hunger making you feel the cold. Oh. I have warm clothes. Yeah, well, it's that you do. Although those uh, sleeves could be longer to help. You're my go. best customer. Am, am I also your only customer? Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Oh, hi there. Uh, hello? Is is this is this how you use it? Yes, John, please. This uh, is how I'm you speaking use it. to you through the guild seal. What an extraordinary device. I know, right? It would seem that as long as you carry the seal, we can communicate freely. Yep, that's how it works. Not only that, but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. Cool. Might I suggest you do so now and try on your new outfit? Sure. Let's do that. Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step really? through, and I'll show oh, you. Oh, the thing that doesn't have cobwebs on it. Everything will eventually stop having cobwebs, but uh, for now, it's just that room. Also, we have the whole bunch of gifts we got from uh, last episode that we're not opening quite yet. We will eventually. But nah, nah. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins. Which well, one serve mannequin. As convenient storage oh. for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? This will let me store the outfit. Huh. Cool. All right. So I can at least go back to an outfit I've saved if I want to have a particular look later. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Uh, gotta wear all of this. This is actually quite a look, I'll be honest here. The is that a knife in the belt? Ready for you. It looks like that's a knife in the belt. Although, the way it's flexing with the breathing is a little weird for the uh, hilt and pommel there, if that is indeed a knife. Uh, it's hard to tell, because um, I can't really zoom in. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, it looks like a knife, but that, uh... <laughs> That's not supposed to do that. That's some so, Skyrim-esque uh, texture outfit, goofiness there. Yeah, okay, well, 
Done. There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Well, I mean, it's slightly warmer, probably. Uh, those sleeves could be longer, but... Okay, return to the game or return to the main room of the sanctuary. Um, I know that I have a die or two in that main room with the gifts, so I kind of want to get into that a little bit. Because this is all DLC stuff and whatnot I have for the game, so let's, uh, let's buckle in. The Clockwork Dog Potion, given by Lionhead Studios. Five Star Dog Potion, given by Lionhead Studios. White Poodle Potion. Doberman Dog Potion. Now that potion. you have the suit on, you should probably return to Sir Walter. Yeah, maybe. Pink Poodle. And Alsatian Dog? Alsatian. Okay. And I can just change the dog breed from there with the potions. Uh, breed Select. Uh, Alsatian. Doesn't it give me a look? Doberman, White Poodle, Pink Poodle, Clockwork Dog. Oh, so when I click on it, it does. <laughs> that's... Oh, jeez, that's so goofy, given the sleeping animation. It fucking clips through half the bed. But no, that's not what I'm going to go for. Let's look at Pink Poodle. <laughs> it looks like a fucking Pokemon. Okay. Uh, what was it, Fru Fro? I think that's the Pokemon. I, I don't know. I haven't been up to date on some of the latest generation Pokemon. Um... White Poodle, this looks a little normal. A Doberman. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, more of a... Okay, that's a slightly German Shepherd-ish breed. Okay, that makes sense. Although I have no idea if that's the proper name or not. But honestly, I prefer that over the Border Collie. I'm sorry, I'm just saying I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's the main reason I haven't changed the dog breed of uh, dog meat in Fallout 4. Okay, so. And, uh. Five star dog potion. I should be able to give that to him. Oh, I can rename him, too. Uh, I'll do that later. And show you guys the name later. But uh, for now, let's, uh. Go back now to the Now that you are game. properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. Yes, let's do that. You, you, yeah, you just don't like me, which is fair. Oh, you, you're going to be the first of many. Let's be honest here. Uh, I'm going to hold on to my money because I'm going to need that if I'm going to be an oh. asshole. Which I am in this playthrough and I'm going to hate every second of it. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. Hey! I've spoken to Sabine, scruffy looking. explained everything, and he's, well, <laughs> I told you he'd take some convincing. Yeah, Come on. sure. All right, let's go. Your sword is fucking big and disturbingly thick. Unnecessarily, even. Ooh. Boulder. Out of the oh, way, there. Boulder. I can't see a thing. So oh, a royalty walks into our home. Yeah. A prince, no less. Yeah. You're a long mile from the castle, prince. Yes, I am. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? Not really. These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words round these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Uh -huh. Then what do you want? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fair. Proof. First, Proof. prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. Okay. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Okay. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Aww. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, okay. prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. All right, Third, can do. prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Okay. Order. Oh. Duh. 
Is he just playing if with we the cannot dog? eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? That is true. Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Are you that convinced I'm going to die Come doing on, all of this? Okay, well then. It's nice to Fair see enough. Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. Yeah, clearly not. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Oh, did he? Your father built the chamber under the Bright Wall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. Oh. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Oh. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. You've come You'll from know the city. what he means. From I'll try All to right. find out more about you these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. All right. Fair enough. We can't hunt thanks to the king. Yeah, what are I know. Going to do? Something. Eventually. All right, so this is where the game kind of opens up here. Still rather hmm. linear. It makes a nice change doing something useful. Oh, I bet. I bet it makes quite a bit of change. Oh, hey, more gifts. Because the game is properly opening up. Now. This chamber beneath Brightfall sounds intriguing. I'd heard rumors, of course, but none other than heroes have lived to speak of it. You must take care once you are inside. Fair enough. Has there been more heroes since our father? Maybe. We don't when know. someone has given you a gift, I will keep it for you here until you wish to unwrap it. I shan't peek, I promise. Well, I would hope not. Anyway. Hey! There's the dies. All from Lionhead Studios. Highlander tattoo. Yule costume. Cream dye. Black dye. The proper black dye. And the Power Stone soldier uniform. That appears uniform. to be all of the gifts. That's fine by me. Now I can actually start dyeing my clothing. I trust you are finding everything all right? Yeah, more or less. All right, so... Um, cream dye. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, the turquoise dye. Hot pink. And the black. Um. Oh yeah, I can set how dark, uh, I want it to be. That's right, I forgot about that. Uh, all dyeable items. Um. Oh. Let's see if I can get that darker. Just let out the goth in me. Oh, it doesn't. It just makes it lighter down that way. That's weird. That works. Okay. Beautiful. Upper body main. Upper body trim. Okay. The hands. It doesn't really do much with the leather parts. But with the other colored parts, it does just fine. And the feet. Ah, darkened it a little. Okay. There we go. Now I look proper gothy. <laughs> sort of Feel look. free to change the color of your clothes or hair using the dyes. That is, after all, what they are for. Fair enough. I'm going to take this outfit. You could use these mannequins to store your current look in order to easily select it later. Well, I'm sure. That's kind of what it looks like, so I'm sure that's how it's supposed to work. All right, time to make... Uh, all of these work out right. There we go. All right. It, just the feet didn't do much. That's annoying. All right. Well, hey, it's there. Good choice. Thank you. All right. It's a good look until I get more color options. Because, let's be honest, <laughs> you can't really take the. Uh, goth out the kid after all these years. <laughs> Once they go goth, they stay that Have way. you checked the sanctuary shop recently? I believe there are new items. Sanctuary shop? Um. A new item or two might spice things up now. Oh yeah, these things. Uh, I'm sure that I have a couple that I haven't gotten yet, but I'm, I'm not going to touch all of them. I'm going to leave most of them alone. I don't really want to bother with most of them. So let's go back to the game. Now that I'm dressed the way I want to be. And in the coloration I want it to be. Alright. Mist Peak Valley we go. Hero required. A plea of help. Ah. 
Alrighty. Mist Peak Valley. Oh boy, there goes that audio glitch. Just them loading all of the area. Okay, I'm going to wait until it's passed. Because I need to load all of the fucking... Oh, jeez. Oh, gods. Okay, I'm going to... Gonna do a quick cut so you guys don't have to listen to that. Well, it was quicker than I thought. <laughs> it stopped a couple seconds after that. Okay. Uh, in the future, should that happen again, I'm just gonna cut immediately. Uh, just so we don't have to subject ourselves to that. Unless there's dialogue going, in which case we'll have to suffer through it. Uh, maybe I won't cut it. Maybe I'll just fast forward it i'm not entirely sure how it'll work i'll figure it out i'll figure it out in post so anyhow let us get moving well that's a view dire view but a view All right down to go I guess we're supposed to go that way, but since there's a path leading this way, I want to go this way. Whee! I'm gonna run this way now. And there's probably something up here. Something good. I'm hoping there's something good, otherwise, this is all worthless. Hey! There's a key chest. But I need five. Damn it. At least it tells me. At least it tells me that there's a... Uh, that there's a... Uh, a number of keys I don't have yet. Or the number of keys I need as well. Hey! A little bit of gold. Who can turn that down? Definitely not me. I'm gonna need all of it I can get. Alright. Is it up here? It probably has a chest I can't open. Aha! I was correct. Give me a second and try and crack my knee. Ooh, okay. That wasn't as loud as I was uh, thinking it would be, but uh, it was still pretty loud. Anyway, hey, a jet, a common gem. You can sell it for profit at a pawnbroker or use it as a gift. And it has little use anywhere else, so I guess I can do it for that. All right, I'm going to scratch my ear real quick because it... Is itchy with this headset. It happens. Alright. Onward we go! Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't have enough keys. You don't need to tell me 19 different times. Alright. And I'm going to try and resist the urge to run everywhere. Because that's just probably going to make the engine chug even harder. And when it comes to uh, the loading noise, I want to avoid that as much as possible. And if running slowly helps avoid it, I'm going to do that. Alrighty. I'm a little burpy because I had pizza. I apologize. <laughs> that was my dinner for tonight. Okay. Because I was a lazy fuck. <laughs> there we go. And... Hey, some more gold. Can't turn that down. Alrighty. Away we go. Towards more things. And more crows running away. Or flying away. Yeah, same thing. Is there a thing up here? No. Okay. Figured I'd try. And it was a dismal failure. Uh-oh. Wolves, the most common RPG enemy. Whoop. There we go. And I don't need to hold the trigger anymore for gathering orbs. I, but I'm so used to it. It's making me do this. <laughs> it's a zoom in button now, I guess. Oh. 
know what it's supposed to be, but hey, it's doing it. All right. Away we continue to go. Oh, more wolves that way. But there's also an alternate path. Let us take this, because it can and shall lead to treasure. Probably. Hey, dig spot. I was someone, right? Eh. I like how he just goes all in when it comes to digging. It's like in the second game, it was just like, eh, eh. This, with, <laughs> with Fable 3, he's just like, Ugh! going all in on it and I made my chair squeak by doing the pantomiming because I'm an idiot. Uh, health potion. I cannot turn that down because that's going to be useful later on. Very useful. Oh, you're dead. You're very dead. Very old. Very dead and very old. Not necessarily mutually exclusive. Okay. Let's uh, go down the other path now because there's nothing really else I can do. Yep, up, up, uh, there we go. Okay. Oh boy. Whoop, okay. Well, that's dealt with. And that does it. Spell kills. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. I, uh,. Guess he's more. <laughs> he's more. What's the word I'm looking for? Spell oriented than I am. I think I was more of a melee and uh, gun guy. Which, you know, is more my shtick anyway. Like, spells are nice for, like, versatility, but. It's always nice to have the fallbacks, which is usually the gun and the sword. And there's that done. Beautiful. Alright. So I guess it's supposed to lead me that way, but I kind of want to keep going this way. I came down from there. I kind of want to go up here. Just to see what's up here. I mean, I have enough time in the episode. I'm allowed to do that, right? I think so. Oh, dog saw something. Or noticed something. But in the meantime... Oh, I got an amethyst! Nice. Maybe he just noticed the treasure. By the time I noticed it. Look at that dog go. He's a good dog. He's a rough. He's a rough, rough. Okay. Oh, hey! It's a nice little cavern area. Chill Breath Caverns, huh? Welp. Might as well take it. Oh, no. Oh, hey. Hey, there we go. Now that it stopped being crazy with the loading. There we go. Okay. Well. That did that. It's nice that it auto-collects the experience for me. That's very, very helpful. Whoop, okay. And there we go. Oh, jeez. Popeye's just an absolute wolf killer. That, mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm only killing them because the game's forcing me to. Oh, jeez! You you killed the doggo! Doggo! No! Oh, jeez. Okay. There we go. Well, life defended. Okay. Note your dog will not lead you to buried items while there are enemies nearby. Well, that makes sense. Hey, another amethyst. Alright. That's good for me. Anything over this way? Yep, no. Nothing I can go into. 
And I'm pretty sure there should be more things this way. Oh, hey! It's toys and whatnot. That can't be good. And I can't get at that. That's annoying. How? Where will I have to go to get that? Hmm. There's got to be an alternate route. Oh, no. Okay, now we're good. That one, uh, not entirely sure what brought that one on. Maybe because the other section of the map. What's up? What's up, dog? What's up, pooch? What's going on? Enemies that I'm not aware of. Oh, hey! Dig spot. It's over here. Okay. A wedding ring. Okay, that was weird. Also, weird that I had to do a cut for that dig cycle. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it had to l super uber load a wedding ring, but it was there, so, hey. Anyway, let's get moving. For any more of that load problem audio shit shows up, huh? Oh, it had to be a fly. My instinctive reaction was to swing around me, but I fought it when I realized, oh, I can hear it in my headset, really close by. That means it can't be a real fly. <sighs> Alrighty. And that is explored. Alright, well, let's go do the thing. Now that I've done the other thing that I wanted to do. Just check out that cavern. I think there's another entrance to go into that cavern area, too. Which should lead me the way to eventually, you know, get that stuff. Like that key and whatnot. I heard a wolf, too. Um, not sure what to think about that. Huh. Oh, well. It's far away from me now. Oh, hey, treasure! Thank you for pointing that out, doggo. You best, doggo. You the best. Hey, more jets. Nice. Is there... Um... There we go. That's how that works. Your dog has mastered every trick a four-legged animal can possibly perform. He's mastered the art of killing enemies while on the ground. You couldn't hope for a more deadly companion. No, I could not. Because you're my little dog meat analog, aren't you? Become an expert at tracking down hidden items. Yay! Gotta love Cheatsy Doodle DLC. <laughs> ah, he's so adorable. Oh, what? Another dig spot? Really? Maybe I should have done that before I went into the cave. Ah, well, I'll come through it again eventually. All right, I'm gonna drink some of my drink here. Hey, another wedding ring. <laughs> Remember to visit pawnbrokers regularly to see if they're willing to buy any items from you. Can be found in Brightwall, Bowerstone Market, and I didn't read the other thing. Well, fuck me. Anywho, uh, it is time to this end the episode. chamber beneath Brightwall sounds intriguing. I'd heard rumors, of course, but none other than heroes have lived to speak of it. You must take care once you are inside. Absolutely. I forgot, though. The button changes for a pausing. Uh, for at least... Ah, hello. Yeah, it changes from the typical pause to then throwing me into the menu. Here. 
That's not now, great. Here is where you can fine-tune the more esoteric aspects of your adventuring experience. Not entirely certain I'm using esoteric correctly there, but no matter. Ah, you're fine, John Cleese. You're, you're fine. Anything you say just sounds marvelous, no matter if you know what you're saying or not. Anyway, we're just going to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And fucking around now that we're opening up the game a little bit. Making my character dressed all gothy and uh, making promises that uh, we may or may not keep. In some respects, we'll see how that goes for you. Hmm. I am on the attractive side. It's kind of nice. Although strength and stature are on the low side. Oh, the prince is a manlet like me. Uh. <laughs>